Well, as much as we've loved, and I'm sure you guys have loved hearing us talk, it is time to welcome the man of the hour. So Oscar is around here somewhere, and he's going to join us any minute. It's better when I turn the seat that way. <laughs> I'm feeling nervous now. <laughs> uh, they're friendly, they're friendly, they don't bite. They don't bite. <laughs> that, that, thanks for coming, this is it's, it's great. It's the, this is the first time I do some here in Major League Soccer. I was thinking of uh, how important it is to get connections with you guys and, uh, and transmit what uh, we all building. I think it's, it's a labor that belongs to everyone. And, and I'm proud and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it being nervous tonight. <laughs> Profe, um, you, know, you talk about what, what the team is going to do on the field. Um, it's been a process to build this roster. And what I notice is that the club, the team has a solid foundation. It was mostly attacking players that you had to bring, but if you look at what's happening in defense and midfield, you know, with exception of Araujo, you have a solid core that has been building for the last couple of years. How important is that to get to, you know, the goal of obviously winning a championship? Right. Uh, it's, it's good that you hear from us the commitment. It's, <coughs> excuse me. It's natural in our job as a coaches. Uh, and in my country, we say that it's normally to get the umbrella out. I don't know if it makes sense, but just in case it rains. So what you're saying to the fans is like uh, putting some excuses here. And then, <laughs> and then, no. We'll keep it between it, us, coach. It, it makes sense or not? <laughs> <laughs> but I think the, just aiming for the bigger prize is always our objective, and we cannot escape away from that. We, we, we need a win. We want to win. And then that creates certain uh, pressure with us. It's normal. But that's our responsibility as an athlete and, and directors. And we want to make this club bigger and bigger. We do have that responsibility. And this year I see a good foundation. I think we have one of the best keepers in South America and probably more. Uh, and and Pedro, Pedro is proud about being here. I, I see his commitment and I see a young man there. Uh, Mason is growing tremendously, which is a product of our academy. And, and the guy, he has a lot of belonging here. So, and Adam, which is somebody that is from our heart too here. I think we're very good there. And we have that foundation with our defense, because majority of them are back. Uh, the experience that they have, Antonio, Rowan, Joao, Ruan, Kyle. And then we have one that I would like him. I would like him to step up, and hopefully your coach can have the <laughs> and play him. But you have a guy, a young man, Thomas Williams, uh, and, and 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 Michael uh, Holiday too, which is a product from our academy. Um, those guys are doing very well. Hopefully this year we can have them in the pitch too. So you see. and uh, we can create a good. Uh, project and, and that part of the field that can last many years. Well, we, we brought uh, a, a Dominic Vail from our academy, he's 15, and he's almost tall as, uh, as yeah. Antonio though. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and and he, he was playing one of our friendly games and and the coach came and said, Oscar, that, 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 that's a good guy, that's a good player. Yeah. And I said, yeah, do you know how old is he? No, no, uh, oh, 15. 15? <laughs> hey, well, I have the courage to play him eh, in preseason. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adam. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adam.
Adam, uh, so you talk a lot about you wanting the team and the players to be protagonists, and that's a word that you use a lot. And uh, just a quick plug, I have up on my pinned tweet, is if you win us a championship, Supporter Shield, Open Cup, MLS Cup, I'm going to get a tattoo of the word protagonist right here. So that's on you. <laughs> um, I think back to MLS is back when uh, we really start to believe in this team and the way we were playing was a lot of very quick ball movement, a lot of creativity up the middle and I really, I think everyone really enjoyed watching that brand of soccer and I get injuries happen, I get different players are in and sometimes that's not always available to you and you have to do the best play you have. But is that, is your return to maybe that style of play especially with some of the more central creative playmakers and Pato coming back and Torres being that kind of ball nominate? Uh, inverted winger off the left and right side. Um, is that kind of a style of play that we might see this season? Uh, something like that where we really try to t t uh, take control in like zones 11 and 14 rather than just going up the wings like we have? Right. Uh, and uh, I, I really I really love that uh, that team in the bubble too. Uh, I, th I thought we came up uh, with uh, with that image that it was pretty new for Orlando, maybe people just keep them in their minds as we do. Just having a, a team that he has, we had all the time the initiative, and and as you say, we promote that word a lot. To the, do we want to have that protagonism? Let's say, uh, do we have uh, the initiative to be the ones who can? create we do want to do it obviously and last year we continue with the same philosophy because that's the way this is the way we we, we, we coach the team uh, game is so dynamic and there are another 26 teams 27 teams that are always pursuing the same Objectives and that the battle is always there, and it's not 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 an easy task. But I promise that because that's it, that's the only, that's the thing that I I I can do it in a different way. And if not, somebody has to do it. But Orlando has to be a team that you feel proud of. That's that's the objective. And and we as a coaches, we know that. You, I like the fans to be proud of their team. If, if not, what's what's the point? We have the initiative. That's why we, the Will family are supporting us on this idea. Uh, the front office protagonist, and then we have to do it there and, and make make it happen. So we we playing young players with a lot of talent. I commit with you guys that our coaching and our purpose is always that, just had a good product. I'm not a coach that likes to sit with 10 players in the box waiting and <laughs> I did not play like that. I, I, actually, I can coach it that way. And on the tournaments and the fields and games where the other team is better than you that day. And, and and that's the game, right? It's dynamic. It's some changes. It's things that happen because we're coaching and 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 uh, and teams are made it of humans, beings that are dynamic connections and and that complexity of the sport is sometimes unpredictable. We all, especially in January or February, we we all champions, right? <laughs> we have to be champions, but you gotta you gotta work it out and and make that happen. My name is Bryce, uh, big Orlando City fan. I want to thank you for coming out and letting us do this. You know, this is like a really cool opportunity. We haven't had, you know, an opportunity like this. <laughs> thank you. The commitment is giving you 100 plus percent from our job. That, that is the commitment. And then in the time that I feel that it's not enough, you don't need to get from there. <laughs> I will pull myself out. Perfect. Thank you so much for Thank your you. time. We appreciate you. Oscar Pareja, everybody. Okay. Thank you.